Hey guys, it's Margaret and today I'm bringing you a live jewelry jar unboxing. This is a jewelry jar I got earlier this week and I opened it up a bit already, just I couldn't help myself. I went to Goodwill, goodness, what was it, Monday I think, and my boys were with me. We had I'd taken them for breakfast and I was like, you know what, Goodwill just opened. Let's just run over there real quick. And I think that might be part of the key because the last time I got some really good jars, um, I was there and it was actually bags. I showed up right when they opened like at nine o'clock. So there, this jar was there and I bought it. There was, a, there was another jar that I didn't get. Um, but there were, you know, I have to see something in there that I think will make my money back. And I found something and then some. So I just want to share with you, I just kind of dumped it in this tub. So, hey, Thrifty Paper Garden, I, I dumped it in the tub, and so I'm just going to go through it with you guys and show you what I've got, and I thought it might be kind of fun to um, put, I, I'm starting a little spreadsheet, so I'll type in each item, well, not type in the whole item, but type in what I think I'm going to get for the item, um, and then we'll see, like, just for fun, like, what do I think I'm going to turn this jewelry jar into? Um, so let me show you the tools I've got, and so I've got my loop, my jeweler's loop. And I have my very strong magnet, and I've also busted out my diamond tester. And I have a reason for this because one of the items, I don't think it's diamond, but we were looking at it on. I shared a picture of one of the items on Instagram because I was really excited. And I think it's blue topaz, but someone said it's maybe aquamarine. And so I looked up how do you tell the difference? And one of the ways is using a diamond tester. So I pulled out the diamond tester so we could check it out and see if we decide that it's blue topaz or maybe aquamarine. Okay, so hey in the chat, hi Melissa and Tam Tam and Brenda, hello, welcome. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm gonna just start grabbing, start grabbing that stuff. So there were a few of these like plastic rosaries. So there's this one and I don't think this is glow in the dark, it looks like it. Maybe I just need to charge it. That looks like glow in the dark, but I'm not sure that it is. And then, um, so when I look, I'm not really exactly sure how much these go for. I looked it up and on Etsy, and there were prices kind of all over the place, like five dollars each, or a lot, of, a lot of some for twelve bucks. So I'm not sure. I've got some other um, rosaries. I've just been collecting them, <laughs> so I have a bunch now. So I'll have to do a whole rosary thing I guess so let me pull those out so there's a few other ones this one's kind of interesting it's really colorful this other rosary so I'm gonna guesstimate about let's see there's so far how many let's see how many I've got at the end so here's another one it's pink and is that the last of the rosaries nope there's another one uh oh something's tangled up on it what are you get off of there okay so another rosary there and let's see if that's it. I think that's all the rosaries. So, or is that one? No, that's not one. Uh, what is that? One, two, three, four, five rosaries. So let's just conservatively, I'll put, what do you think, 15 bucks? So conservatively, I'll put $15. So it might be more, might be less. Um, so there we go. So, oh, they got more people in the chat. Hello. Hello, Gloria from Scotland. And hello. M oh, I'm not going to, I don't know what your name is, Lamoil, Lam I don't, yeah, <laughs> but hello from Canada, and hello, Head Rivers and Sally Walker, yay, hi, Rebecca, how's it going, and Melissa, uh, Melissa asks, <clears throat> how accurate do you think the diamond tester is, have you ever used, used it to test a diamond and then get it appraised, it is accurate, um, I have never done what you've asked, like have it test a diamond and then go, but I have tested it like on a diamond that I know is a diamond. And there was a ring that I had a while back. I think I shared it in one, an international league of thrifters or maybe the jewelry group where I was trying to see if a ring that I found was a diamond because I thought it was. And so I was like, okay, let's do a test of what I know it's a diamond. And then let's test this other one. And it was not. So it's come in handy. I, I really like using it. There are other ones that are more expensive that it's like a gemstone tester that tests more stones, but I don't have that one. <laughs> I do not. Hello, Jason. Hello. <laughs> uh, Beat Nuke and Sally and Sarah. Hello. Oh, hello from Wisconsin. You have a heat wave of 20 degrees. Uh, <laughs> Head Rivers, I have the same diamond tester. 
where did I buy this? I, uh, there's actually a link in the description below uh, of, of, I think this, I know I have the jewelry testing kit that I have, like the gold silver testing kit, and I think I bought this separately, or it may have come in the whole kit together. I don't know, but I put a link in the description down below. Um, hi from Oregon, Lindsay and Melissa, Nellie. <laughs> Nellie says she's avoiding washing, watching, washing dishes. Hello from Alabama. Yeah, we're, we were at 60, 60, we're at 60. Leave the shirt. I had to send a picture to a friend, like, just look, because <laughs> we're in, you know, the Gulf Coast area of Texas. All right, let's see. Hi from Tulsa. Does it have a fire, does it fire a laser or some other kind of magic? Yeah, I think so. And you have to, like, um, prep it, too. And you have to read the directions. And I had to watch a couple of videos because you can't just, like, turn it on. And, like, you have to set it to a certain setting. And then it'll when it's ready, it'll, like, this other light will come on. <laughs> so, yeah, and that's, I'm going to, I'll wait because I don't want to burn the battery up. Okay, so let me move on. So we've done one thing so far. Good job, Margaret. And you know, I have people come back in my videos. I guess they don't like the chit chat. And they'll say, the video really starts at 10 minutes and 27 seconds if you want to jump to it. <laughs> anyway, whatever. <laughs> okay, so the next up is this little seed bead necklace. It's got a barrel closure on it, and it's probably not worth a ton. Um, so I'm going to. I'll put a dollar down here. <laughs> I'll put a dollar in my spreadsheet for that. So, and it may be more, maybe less, but I'm just going to kind of guesstimate because I'm sure I'll be high on some and low on others. And then we've got this plastic stretchy bracelet, which generally I something I think I will try to list this by itself because it's one of those things where I don't know, it, it might sell like those pink beads that I I keep talking about. I, I was like, let me just see, and I put. I, did those pink beads up by themselves and they sold for like, I don't know, what was it? 10 or 12 bucks. So I, I think I will probably put this up for 9 dollars because it's pretty flashy. So I'm going to put seven in my spreadsheet. <laughs> Hi from Georgia. Hello. Okay. Next I've got this and it's nothing fancy, but a you know, so I'm not even going to put that in the spreadsheet because that'll go in just a lot. I, and I've started sorting my jewelry. You'll be proud of me. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, this is, I don't even, oh, whoa, what was that? Okay, oh, oh, <laughs> these little things are magnets, and they keep sticking to each other. So I think this is a homemade necklace, maybe? There's no closure on it. Okay, maybe it closed, no, I have no idea. So this will go into a lot, because I don't even know what to make of it. There's no, like, clasp or closure, and these little bits are all magnetic, and... Yeah, so I'm not going to put this in a spreadsheet because I don't even know what to do with that. Well, oh, well, there's an earring stuck in there too. Well, that's magnetic. <laughs> we know that already. And now what flew over there? What was that? Another earring. Okay. All right, so that won't go in the spreadsheet. That's just going to be in it like a lot. Oh, oh, what kind of spreadsheet? Oh, let me show you what I'm doing. Just for Because I'm doing this for just for fun with the spreadsheet. I'll show you so it's not as um, – I thought, okay, let's just – on a Google Doc, like Google Spreadsheet. So I'm just typing in. So at the end, um, we can kind of guesstimate how much money I'll make off of this. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, okay. I thought I stopped the spread. I thought I stopped the broadcast. Um, so I can count my chickens before they hatch, basically, <laughs> which they say don't do, but I, it'll be fun. So, all right, here we go. What else is going on in the chat? So she said she got hers on eBay for 12 bucks. Oh, okay. I just went to Amazon. Yeah, I'm I'm Amazon's prime customer. <laughs> they love me. Let's see. You can use the magnetic necklace as a multi-strand bracelet. It will stick together on your wrist. Ooh, okay. Hey, maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. See, this is why I like to do this live because I I don't know. Oh, look. Okay. If you can make it work right. Ta-da. Hmm. Would somebody buy that? <laughs> they might they might okay let's what do you think should we list it should we try see if somebody wants it I don't think so I don't know <laughs> I'm a bit nervous about that but maybe they would <laughs> let's put a dollar <laughs> I'll put a dollar down in the spreadsheet there we go just in case <laughs> okay so the next thing I think is homemade too so take a look at this so this bracelet has got this 
like marbly carbachon thing. And then it's got this leather braided strap. But then these bits along the end here, these like kind of gray, dark gray parts are hard. I don't know what it is. Okay, and then they, whatever, they pressed, maybe it was some sort of clay or something and then it dried hard because they, they pressed this silvery stuff into it and it's dried in there. But it's really interesting. So I will for sure try to sell that. I mean, you can see they, they have these little seed beads that they've pressed into it, you know? So, yeah, I'm going to for sure try to sell this. So I'm thinking at least, I'm going to put at least 15 bucks, if not more on that. Right? Okay. Tell, if, and if some of you may be jewelry makers, and you can tell me what this, what this material is that's like, can you hear that? It's like hardened, but obviously at one point it was soft enough to press something into it. So, yeah. We'll see. So that's pretty cool, I think. It's different. I, I like stuff like this. It's kind of different. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Uh, Hydro River says, yes, I sold a ton of those. Just show how it goes on. This? Have you? Okay, cool. How much did you sell it for? Because then I can adjust that in the chat. <laughs> yeah, so I just show how it goes on like that. I can show it like not. Okay. People have trouble with magnetic clasps. Love those magnetic bracelets. Oh, okay. Um, and then Aaron says, is it heavy? No, not at all. It's super duper light. I mean, the leather is, it's obviously been worn and loved. The, web, the leather is worn, but it's really so, supple, really soft. But it's cool, right? It's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to put this, I'm going to change the price on this since you guys are, uh, <laughs> are convincing me that people, will, people like these and will buy it. I'm going to change it to $5 <laughs> as a conservative until I look it up. So, <laughs> hey, Fran, how's it going? Let's see. Okay, next up. I really like that. Okay. Oh, thanks, Kate. Which one? Okay, let me move on. You tell me. All right, next up, let's see. We've got just, you know, a kid's braid, um, necklace. I think it's vintage, though. I think it's a vintage one based on this. Unless they're making, unless they're making closures like this again. I remember when I was a little girl, necklaces, you know, would have this kind of closure on them. So I will probably I will probably try to sell this just as like a vintage heart necklace, you know. I think I'll still try to sell that. So I'm gonna put in my in the spreadsheet like a a random, let's see. I'm gonna put seven bucks. <laughs> I may find more. <laughs> Did you, Kate? Right. Does, doesn't that remind you of like because that's how jewelry closed when I was a little girl? It was those like little snappy ones like that, right? You had the same exact one. Awesome. How do you need some like memorabilia from the 80s? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, and then next is another kind of stretchy bead necklace. And hmm, I may try to sell this by itself. I might. I don't know. It's kind of a nice little pastel necklace. So I'm gonna put five bucks in my spreadsheet. If you're, if you're just popping in wondering what I'm talking about, I'm making a little spreadsheet just for fun, you know, guesstimating what I might get for an item. Uh, and then we'll see at the end what I, what I think I'm going to get for everything. <laughs> okay, so next is another bracelet. It looks like so. And this is one of those where I say it's not my style, but it's certainly somebody's style. So this, I'm not even sure how I'm going to describe that. But I'm sure that that will sell to somebody. It's a stretch one. So again, conservatively, I'm, tr I'm trying to put the lowest I think I would possibly take. It may be more once I do research, but I'm going to put 12 bucks for that. What do you think? 12 bucks at least, right? So let's do that. <laughs> okay, next, <laughs> tell me what you think if this is, you know, if you like this method. <laughs> this is new. Okay, so next at Boho. There we go. Boho. Thanks, Kate. So next I've got this necklace with the, oh, and I know you guys will know what this kind of shell is, is called, but I can't think of it. It starts with a C, right? And this is a Panama Jack brand necklace, which I will try to sell because that's for sure, you know, somebody, some surfer girl maybe will want that. Yeah. So I don't know what the, these kind of brace necklaces go for. Is that broken? Is that supposed to be over there? Okay, I got it. There we go. So. I'm gonna put just five bucks conservatively. I don't normally list things for less than $7.99, but I'm just gonna throw five bucks in the 
in the spreadsheet. Hi, Tippy, how's it going? Conch, is that right, Conch? There you go. Let's see, Sally asked, when you list a necklace, do you list the length when it's unclasped and, and when it's clasped or just one length? Oh yeah, it makes sense. I list it from, for, oh, so like on a necklace like this, because it's got this kind of chain that you can adjust the size, what I'll do is I'll list, I'll, I'll open it up like so, and I'll go from the clasp to the first rung. So, and then I'll say, you know, the smallest would be this, and then I would do measure it again to the last one, and then the longest would be that. So they'll know, like, okay, that's the smallest, and then that's that's a tiny, that's a tiny necklace. Anyway, my neck's gotten a little bigger, <laughs> but you know, all right. So that's what I do. Yeah. But then, like, let's say it's one like this. Heavens. I think what I would do, because this doesn't have an open, so I would measure the length of it and then double it. Yeah. Puka shells. Puka is just a fun word to say. Puka. All right. Let's turn that off. Okay. So, yeah, I would for one that's like this, I would measure the length and then double it. So, however you, <laughs> however you spell it, it sounds funny still. Puka. Okay. <laughs> And then I I just had one of these recently, and another, I've got to find it, because I just had a little wooden cutout owl, I think it's the same exact thing, in another jewelry jar recently, so I've got to go find that, I'm trying to see if that loop has something on it, <laughs> chokers are in again, oh yay, might be good, okay, that's magnetic, so I have no idea on the little owl how much that'll go for, I'll put a dollar in my, <laughs> I'm not selling anything for a dollar on eBay, I'm just saying, but but I'm just saying, I think it's worth at least that. Hey, Larry's Treasures. Okay, next up. Okay, something's got tangled. Oh, I found another rosary. So I'll just keep my that with my normal estimate that I had going from before. And then this, okay. This is a maybe hemp with the little beads. I don't know. This will probably go in a lot. Last time I said that, somebody said, oh, no, somebody will wear that. But I, yeah, we'll see. If somebody comes back and says that, but I, for now it's going in the, in the knot lot. In the knot lot? In the jewelry lot, not to sell. And then this is a, oh, probably the same thing, because this, this uh, rope is pretty gross. So this one says, little sister, little sister, yep. Okay, well, but you know what? It's Christmas, maybe I'll give this to my little sister. I wonder if she'd mind. Probably. Okay, so that's going in the in the junk jewelry lot too. <laughs> and then this one also, this will just go in the in the lot, in the kids' jewelry lot. Because this is not from my era. Like this one is from my era. This one is no, not. Hey, Aussie Thrifter, how's it going? Let's see. Chokers. Okay, okay, read that. Read that. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Next up is this. Hmm. I might, I might try to sell this one. It looks pretty in pretty good shape. So it's kind of this woven, I don't know, maybe not. And it's got an L, and then you pull the strings to tighten it or loosen it, one or the other. Okay, maybe that's why it's in here, because it's not moving. Oh, you have to really pull it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's that. And then you pull to tighten it up, like so. I don't know, would you sell that by itself? I don't know. That's a maybe. I'm not even going to put that in the... Uh, Spreadsheet, okay. If you can piece together a complete necklace with a chain and jump ring from another necklace with the alpine, maybe you can sell it for more. Oh, this is true, yeah. That's true. I'll have to keep an eye out. But goodness knows, I've got a whole, I've been storing my jewelry so I can start selling it. <laughs> All right, and then next step, this was really pretty. Okay, it's a heart. And I... I think, you know, this is like handmade glass. You can see the bubbles in there. And I think when it's metallic in there like that, it's the, it's the dichroic glass. So correct me if I'm wrong, because I may be, but I'm still learning on some of these things. So it's really, really pretty blue with the gold. And the, yeah, so I think somebody, you know, handmade, hand blown that. I can't tell from the bottom because this is on there, but. Anyway, so that's really cool. And the, actually, the satiny string that it's on looks pretty good. It's in pretty good shape. So this one, hmm, I'm, I'm thinking, because I haven't done any research, obviously. Yes, dichroic glass. Yes, when it has that metallic look in there. 
All right, so this one, what would I put that at? I don't know, because I have to do a little research on the dichroic glass, and that is a hand hand blown. Um, I guess I'm gonna call it hand blown, but it's you know not manufactured, whatever you know. So I'm gonna put at least twenty dollars, I think, or or I'm crazy. So I'm gonna put twenty dollars in my thing down here, my spreadsheet, twenty bucks. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Mike Two Cents. How are you? Hello. That looks a bit like your other iridescent heart, right? Yeah, the other one was bigger than this, though. But yeah, that one's really cool. The other one, I yeah. All right, here we go. Next up, what do we have? Now, this was not a huge, huge jar. You know, like that. Um, the bags I got were ginormous, but there were some things in here I saw I really thought I could sell. There's a little fish necklace. I probably won't. That'll go in a lot too. And then these. These will go in a lot. What do they say? May 11th through 14th, 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Okay. Oh, Catalyst Auditions. <laughs> Darn it, I missed the auditions. For what? I have no idea. Okay, next is a Mockingjay neck, uh, bracelet, which I will sell, this Mockingjay bracelet. And I don't know. I, I'm going to put 7 bucks in the thing down here because I don't know what they go for. And they're probably a dime a dozen for all I know. Even though I like Mockingjay. I probably wouldn't wear that. Then we have just a random little watch that I, I'm collecting stuff like this to put in a watch lot. So I won't even put that in the, maybe I'll put a dollar down here. Because I don't know, I haven't done any watch lots yet. A buck, why not? Let's put a buck. Let's see, string bracelet with the L should just go in a lot. Yeah, I agree. Okay, got another gummy style bracelet that's going into a lot. And... Okay, tell me, okay, now this is all tangled. Okay, I should have taken care of this before. Hand. <laughs> what is the deal? Okay, come here, you. You're causing problems. There, you're out of here. <laughs> I keep pulling different ways. Aaron says, about how much do your jewelry jars go for, say, about a gallon size Ziploc amount? So a gallon size, like the two that I got recently were about gallon size, and they were, ooh, they were a little bit more. I think they were 30, 35, because um, I spent a lot that day. So maybe they were like 30, 35 bucks. This one that I got was in like a, just a jar, and it was $24.99. Okay, so this one, at first I thought it was Baha'i, but my husband says, no, that's not right. So there's some letters on a shiny shiny red bracelet it's in really like really good shape but i'm not exactly sure what these letters stand for so i i still try to sell it <laughs> i don't know i think that red bracelet's pretty i mean i don't know so i'm gonna i'll put i'm gonna put seven bucks in the <laughs> here just because we'll find out we'll find out next this is the rail cats it, let me know if your school's the rail cats or if they are Turner College and Career High School cat team one. That will go in a lot. <laughs> That's going in a lot. And then I've got these little shell flower earrings. Yay, Janina, <laughs> you made it. So these ones, I may still try to sell these. I, I think I will. I mean, they're, they're ones that my gut tells me put them in a lot. But then another part of me says, no, they're really, they're little shell painted carved earrings. So yeah, I mean, they won't go for a ton, but maybe I'll put, I'm going to put $7 in there. Because <laughs> that's the thing. I'm with the, I keep going back to those pearly, I mean, those little pink beads that I listed and they sold like that. Okay, here's one of the things that, this is why I bought the, uh-oh, the kids are fighting. <laughs> Here they go. Can you hear them? All right, so this is one of the reasons I got it. I saw this bracelet in there, and I, I knew, hang on, let me close it. I saw a little safety chain, and so usually that'll tell me that that's a nicer piece, whether or not it's real, but even if it's a nicer piece of a costume jewelry that has a safety chain on it. So let's get the old magnet out, and there we go. It is magnetic. Now, I like I said, I did kind of go through this before, but I didn't see any maker's mark on this. So I will still, you know, list this as a nice costume jewelry, gold tone, safety chain, blah, 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 bracelet. Um, so I'm going to 
I think at least 20 bucks, maybe more. So I'll put 20 bucks in the spreadsheet. There we go, 20 bucks. Let's see. Kate says, my Goodwill sells a big old bag for 50 to 75 bucks. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't either. Uh, have anything Firefly the TV show related? I have a lot. <laughs> I get the Firefly crates. This stuff is not. Do you do the loot crate, the Firefly loot crates? I do. And I've been, other than the first two, I, I get a lot. I get like three of them for each one. <laughs> or I was. I knocked it down to one now because I want it. But then I'm like, somebody else wants it too. So we'll have to see. Let's see. Hi from the sunny UK. Hey, Sam. How's it going? That's Byzantine weave bracelet. Oh, sweet. Thank you, Heidi. Byzantine weave. It's really cool, right? Maybe it'll go for more. They pick through the goods, take all the good stuff. So I've heard, yeah. Some places they do. Okay, and then there's this watch. And it's got that, what do you call those again? It's like, a, it's like those charm, they used to be a bit thing with the charm bracelets with the pictures. So there's that. I'm, I'm thinking that's just going to go into a watch lot. Unless you guys tell me, no, those are, those are awesome. They're for something. So I'm going to put a dollar for that in my, <laughs> down in my spreadsheet. One dollar. Because I don't know. It's just going, right now in my brain, it's going in the lot. Yes, definitely PM me, Erin. <laughs> okay, and then this, well, okay. Uh-oh, it's stuck. I'm unsticking it. There we go. This will probably, tell me what you think. Should I put this in the lot? It's this, but it's like a hair. It goes on your hair. I'm not putting it on my hair. Well, maybe I'll try to sell it. I'll have to clean it. Oh, it might be kind of neat. Somebody might want it in their hair. So, okay, is there stones missing? That's the next question. No, no stones missing. All right, so maybe I'll put that. I'll clean it up and put it. Yeah, somebody would wear that, right, in their hair. So, okay, I'm thinking about a price. <laughs> I feel like I should have a crystal ball. Because I have no idea. I'm not doing research or anything. Okay, so this one, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to just put my lowest, which is seven, seven ninety nine dollars or so. But maybe it's more. I'll, I'll look around and see what I see. Okay, next up is this cute little seed bead necklace. And it's got these little pink fish. Look how adorable that is. So, yeah, I'm going to list this. They're cute. Look at these cute little fish. They're, they're adorable. So yeah, I'm gonna probably list that for $9.99 because I think somebody might actually buy it. So okay, that actually reminds me of Firefly. Oh, this one, this, that, uh -huh, right there. <laughs> Let's see, I would pull it apart and sell them inadvertently. Okay, I love a good hair accessory, awesome. Okay, so here we go. Next up, what have I got? I'm trying, there's earrings, which I didn't, you know, put together, so I'm gonna kinda do that. Okay, next. This is something that was also in there that was big that I was like, oh, I can sell that. That's a nice, you know, spider web cuff. And there's no markings, no maker's mark, definitely magnetic. But I still think, you know, I can get a good 10 or 12 bucks for that. Maybe more. So I'm going to put 12 bucks and then we'll see because I don't know if, if the, you know, market's saturated or whatever. So, okay, next is... As I go, I'm pulling earrings out to try to match them up in a second. Okay, there's an earring. There's another earring. And here's a necklace. Okay, so ooh, we could try our diamond tester out on this, even though I don't think they're diamond. So this necklace, like a silver necklace with these really pretty, I think just rhinestones or crystals. Okay, not magnetic. How about down here? Also not magnetic, that's a good sign. <laughs> Let's get this out. Goth people love that spiderweb bracelet. I agree. Uh, Kate says, do you put all the jewelry on Etsy? Most of it, unless I know it's really, unless I know for sure that it's before 1997. It's about to probably be 1998. Um, but most of it, yeah, I put on Etsy. Yeah. Okay, so this one, I'm looking because it was not magnetic. Wait, I think I just looked at the same slide twice. <laughs> Huh, there's no marks, but it's not magnetic. Okay, so let's look at this, because this was also not magnetic. And I see something. I think I see something. I don't see anything. Okay. Okay, so for just for fun, let's turn on the, mag the diamond tester so you can see. So I'm going to calibrate it. Oops, that's too far. Calibrating. <laughs> when the lamp comes on, I'll show you with this and then with, with this. 
Is the light ready? No, not yet. Okay. We're waiting. Anytime you're ready. Calibrating. Okay, I'm gonna sort while you're doing this. All right, let me know when it goes red. Okay, it's ready. Okay, cool. So here we go. So basically with the with this, let me do it the other way so you can see the lights. You have to hold it straight onto the, the stone. See, nothing is happening. So those are, now if I hit the silver, you know, it'll do something, but on the stone, nothing. So like here, my, my ring, my teeny little diamond in there. Oh wait, you can't see it that way. <laughs> Let me take it off. So if I go this way, you know, it goes up and it'll say, yes, this is a diamond. Doop, 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 doop. So there's that. Yeah, okay, turning back off. Okay. Ooh. So this, I, I still try to list that because it's still a pretty little thing, um, necklace. And the, the chain is not magnetic. Let me check it down here. No. So it, it may be silver that's just not marked or I'm not seeing it right off the top of my, you know, I'm not seeing it at the moment. Um, but still, I could still probably list this for at least 15 bucks. If it's silver, maybe a little bit more. All right, so here we go. Let me come down here and plug that in. I'm gonna put 15. Maybe I'll put 10. I'll put 10 just to be conservative because I haven't <laughs> I haven't looked it up. All right, next, this is going into a lot. That's just a little plastic resin. It'll go into like a little girl lot. Whoa, <laughs> that was the magnet. Does it say 925 anywhere? No, it doesn't say anything. There weren't any marks or anything. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Okay, next up. Here we go. Uh-oh, some more tangles. You don't want to watch me untangle this, I know. <laughs> ah! Okay, 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 forget it. I can untangle them later, but I'll just show you. So there's a little angel, again, with a little crystal down there. And there is a mark on this one. Let's take a peek. Do you bring the time and tester to the thrift store? No, no, I don't. Nine two five, and then there's like a little mark underneath. I think it's a N. I can't read it. Well, it says nine two five on the back of the angel with some little letters underneath it. And then these are tangled, y'all. And then okay, okay, okay. I think we got it. I think we got it. Don't don't fail me now. Here we go. Oh come on. There we go. Okay. So that says 925. And then this one is big enough. I can see it says 925 on on this part. And I think it even says 925 Italy. Mm, no, it says something else. CW on that side. And then this side. Yeah, 925 Italy on that side. So that necklace is silver with the little angel. I, I don't know. I mean, I'll sell it. But I don't normally sell things like this. Do they, do they sell? I'm not even sure. So I'll probably still try to sell this on this chain because otherwise I would use the chain for something else. Tell me what you think. You know, does this little angel things like this sell? I want to test those stones even though I know they're not. <laughs> now I'm having fun with the diamond tester. Like, let's just do it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to wait for it to calibrate again. I'll show you something else. And then we'll test those because it's got a little stone for the head and a little stone for the body. But you know they're just crystals, Margaret. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so another chain. And again, this one I can see the, the marks and the 925 right on this little piece right here. Let's see. There is an app out there that lists most hallmarks on Joy Saw and Pawn Star Show. could definitely help. Yeah, I'll have to look for that. That's awesome. How big is the angel? Do you have a scale? I have a scale, like a... a Jewelry scaled them. Yeah, I have one. I don't have it with me right here. And the angel is that big. <laughs> Less than the size of my fingertip. <laughs> okay, a lot of people collect angels or wear angels in memory of someone. Oh, that's a good idea. And that's something nice to put in there too. You know, memory angel or something. I don't know. I'll look and see. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'll hold it upside down. Oh, it hit the silver, so it was making a funny noise. Nope, nothing. Darn it. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's turn you off. It's so persnickety, this little thing. Okay, next up is this button or something. It's a button, I think. So that'll go in a lot. And then another little resin. That'll go in a lot. 
Oh, wait, I didn't write down what I was going to put the, the, the angel for in my... Oh, get off of there. Uh, so angel, what am I going to put? I'm going to put 15 conservatively. And then the silver chain that was just the chain by itself, I'm going to put five bucks because I'll hold on to that until I find a, uh, a pendant that I can use on that. I Okay, I put it on eBay for 25 with the chain. With the angel, okay. And then Janina says, I found a silver tone broken bracelet on one of my jars. It says 14K Italy. Could it be white gold? Have to have it checked by a jeweler. Make sure it's not fake. Hope it's real. Yeah, it could be. Um, it could be white gold. Yeah, and this is why. This is why I get those. I have the diamond. I mean, I have the diamond testing, and I have the um, gold and silver testing kit. Because even if you take it in there, they charge you. Like they're not going to do it out of the goodness of their heart, <laughs> you know. But if it's real, then it you know it could be worth it. Okay, next up, I'm pulling out more earrings to match up for you. Another look at that. Kiss, it says, but that'll go in a lot. Ah, okay. Sorry, not prepared. These earrings, one of them is missing a hook, but I will find a hook for that because these are earrings that I would wear. I like those. I like that. And I think I see a marking. Let's see what that says. 925, and then there's like an M. I don't know what the M stands for. But anyway, I'll find, oh, that needs a new hook too. Look at that. Somebody like was eating it. <laughs> Somebody was eating their earrings. They got one down. They didn't quite finish the other one. Uh, <laughs> okay, so these I'll find new hooks for, and then those will either be sold or I'll wear them. They're cute. Okay, so there's that. Okay, let me put. I'm gonna put five bucks because I'll probably end up keeping them. <laughs> All right, let's see. You have to invest in those testers. Yeah, I agree. I mean, especially once I really started getting into jewelry more, it, it they came in really handy. They came in really handy. Okay, so here's some earrings. Uh-oh. Stop. It's time to pick up the boys. So there are these little earrings, which I'll probably put in a lot. They're little, I think they're pewter. Let me check that. Uh, well, I don't think those are silver. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I don't know, but people like butterflies. Maybe they would like those. What do you think? Maybe. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> the maker, that's the maker's mark, M, yeah. I, but I don't know what the M stands like. What maker is that? Besides checking solds, how do you determine selling a button or button set individually or in a lot? I don't know. I, don't, I guess it would depend on the buttons, <laughs> if they're Bakelite or things like that. But like a button? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, beautiful golden hour. I was sub to you, and YouTube unsubbed me from you, so I resubbed you. Sorry. YouTube does funny things like that, but thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, so these ones, I'm not sure. I may sell them by themselves, but I don't know. They're not really awesome, I don't think. But then that's not, they're not, I'm not the person that they're there for. Okay, so there's another chain. This is really nice. Uh, oh, it's slightly magnetic. Oh, is it? It is very slightly magnetic, but y'all, it's marked too. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, it's marked sterling, but it's not because it, because it's magnetic. Let me see. Even slightly magnetic is magnetic. So, yeah, I mean, I can test it, but and it looks really nice too. It looked like it might be, but I, yeah, I mean, if it's magnetic, it's not. I mean, some people will say, well, what if the other percentage is a magnetic? But yeah, no. So yeah, that's totally magnetic. All right, so we'll see. <laughs> I'll put that to the side. <laughs> uh, Find all my jewelry curb picking. Coincidentally, I found a diamond tester and a gold tester the same way. Awesome. So like from like uh, trash bins, curb picking, right? Right? Like people put their stuff out. I pick stuff up too. <laughs> it's true. And then this, I think this is left like a baby toy or something, right? Oh, they're fighting again, those boys. And a Hannah Montana watch that will go in a watch lot. Plated. Oh, you know what? I didn't think of that, Melissa. You're so smart. This is why I do this live. <laughs> it could be silver plated. You're right. Okay. That's good. Because then I can say, you know, silver, because it says sterling. So maybe it is silver plated. Awesome. Okay. So I love dumpster diving. Yeah. Tanya and I went, you know, you saw the video. I don't know if you saw the video, but we put a video up. We're going to probably go again in the new year. 
it was pretty good. We had a good time anyway. We didn't find a lot. Well, she found some stuff. Okay, next up, my Charlie Brown clock is going now. In the pear tree. So then these earrings I will sell. They're this like distressed look cross earrings. There's no mark on them that I can see. Let's see if they're not magnetic, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're silver. But and again, I don't see any marks. I'm double checking. Because I know James Avery has this kind of look on some of their jewelry, that kind of distressed look. Is that a mark? Hang on. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So I will still try to sell these. I will probably, I don't know. I'm going to stick nine bucks down here in my spreadsheet just because I'm not exactly sure what I'll put on those. This is a cool necklace. Okay, look at this necklace. So it's got this little cage, <laughs> and then it's on a chain like so, which I think is still magnetic, but let's see. It's still cool. Okay, maybe it's not. Not magnetic, but look, look. So this has got like a lump of coal in it or something, <laughs> but you can open it. This is so cool. Watch. Let me open, get this off here. So here, this will open up. Where is it? There we go. Look, you can open it up. You can take out the lump of coal and put in something else and put it back together. So I guess, you know, if you're into healing crystals or aromatherapy or something, here we go. Oh, get in there. Get back. It's not going back on. There we go. So yeah, somebody had a lump of coal in there. <laughs> I don't know. It may be charcoal, maybe something else. Who knows? There. All right, but I thought that was really cool. So I don't know what they go for, Thing, little necklaces that do that. I don't think this is gold at all. I could be wrong. but I, don't, I mean, it's not magnetic, but I, I don't think it's gold. I don't have that feeling. <laughs> And I don't see any kind of marks either. So, eh, no. Okay, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know what I would put that at. And if I were to sell it, would I take the lump of coal out and put something else in <laughs> or leave it as is? What would you do, right? Pretty cool. So I'm going to put at least 15 bucks. I think I could get at least 15 bucks for that, if not more. Okay, get back over there. 15. I'm putting that in the spreadsheet. All right, probably, probably not a lump of coal. <laughs> okay. So next up, well, you never know. People are weird. They do weird things. Maybe it's like, you know, because coal and charcoal is supposed to be cleansing for the body. I don't know. I'm just making it up. But who knows? Somebody may want a lump of coal. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to see if I see the match. Oh, here it is. Okay. Little bitty crabs. I will sell these little bitty crabs. And are they silver? I don't see a mark. Oh, wait. Maybe on the post. I see something on the post. Maybe. Maybe not. So even if they're, sil if they're silver or not, I still think I can sell those little crabs for at least 10 bucks. I'm going to put 10 bucks. Somebody likes crabs out there. Trust me. There's the crabs. All right. <laughs> is it bad to laugh at your own jokes? Probably. Okay, and look how tiny this is. This must be like a little baby. It's got little teddy bears and hearts and little balls. I can't imagine putting this on a baby, though, because that's a, like a choking hazard waiting to happen. And it says, I think that says Claire, does it? It does. Look, I thought it was like, oh, look at this little precious thing. <laughs> it's still cute, but so tiny. So, so tiny and super magnetic. But you know what? I think I could still sell it. I don't know. It doesn't look new. It looks vintage, doesn't it? Maybe it's vintage Claire's. Claire's has been around a while. It's been around since I was a kid. It's missing one little doodad there. All right, I'm going to put five bucks on that. Okay, maybe I'm dreaming. Okay, I'm not going to put it in there. Maybe somebody in the local gemology club can tell you what the lump of gold is. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but see, okay, you're right. Maybe I will list that. Vintage toddler's bracelet. I think the bracelet's old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to put five bucks. Let's do it. All right. Next up. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, this will go in a lot. These are, you know, little, they look like just cheapy little earrings. 
So those will go in a lot. And then these ones I will list because there are people that are super into dolphins. So there are dolphins with these pink stones. Are they silver or I think they may be silver because of the tarnish on them, but I don't see a mark. Eh, maybe not. Okay, they're magnetic. So maybe not. I'll say something like pewter look, tarnished look. All right, so those I will sell. I'm going to put five bucks down here, even though I'll probably list them for more. Okay. <laughs> Aaron, they're talking, they're talking dumpster diving or trash collecting out there. I'm telling you what, I mean, I've picked up things from my neighbors. I had no shame. And a couple of years ago, my neighbors diagonally for me put out, first of all, I thought they were just putting out those plastic tubs. I was like, I can use those, you know, plastic tubs in my, even in my garage. So they have like three plastic tubs out there. So I was like, Brandy, get over there and get those plastic tubs. Brought them all over. And then they were full of like Halloween decorations and Christmas decorations. They were just like, we're done. And they like dragged them all out to the, the curb. So it was cool. So we got a bonus. Christmas decorations and Halloween decorations. To boot. Okay, that's don't match. I'm trying to find matches real fast. Okay, look, these are cute. They're little pink stone stud earrings, and they, I think, are stamped. No, nope, that's just tarnish. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe I'll still try to sell these by themselves. They're cute. What do you think? Just little pink, pink stones. Wait, wait. One's pink and one's purple. There must be a mate mix up here. That one's pink and that one's light purple. Maybe I'll sell them as a, a lot. I don't really do really well with lots, but maybe if there's a mate in there, I'll try. Okay, this one is pretty cool. I need your help on this, though. So this one, it's marked Universal Studios. So I'm guessing it goes to a movie, but I don't know what movie. It's got snakes, and it reminds me of, like, that National Treasure. Is that a Universal thing? I don't know. All right, here we go. So depending on what movie or game or show that's from can de determine the price on it because I, I really don't know. So I'll have to look this up. So I'm going to put at least 10 bucks in the spreadsheet on that. 10 bucks. This is kind of fun. <laughs> we'll see what I make at the end. Hopefully. All right, next. Uh-oh. That's caught on there. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. There we go. All right, so here we've got this. I will sell this. And I thought I saw a mark. Where did it go? No, maybe not. This is really, I mean, it's not my style, but it's somebody's style. It's that kind of like brassy, gold look, coppery look, like so. Uh, and I'm going to put at least 15 bucks on that. I think, I think that could go for at least 15. 15 bucks. All right. In the chat, Erin says, I want to move to Houston, though. Start a special bin for a good house. Wait, household's good trash. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, Stargate. Could that be Stargate? Possibly. Yeah. There we go. Rose gold, Kate's Place says. Hello. There we go. Next, we're getting close to the end, you guys. You're doing great. This bracelet, I... It's got all different kinds of beads on it. I think I'll still try to sell it. I don't think it'll go for a ton, but I think somebody might like the different colored beads. I'll put five bucks down here. <laughs> five, even though I won't list it for five. Just to try. You never know. Okay. Now, this is pretty cool. Okay, if I can get this out without breaking it. Oh, dear. Okay. So this necklace is for sure vintage, like costume jewelry pearls. And it, it had a tag on it. Maybe the tag fell off. It did. This tag was still attached to it until just a second ago when it pulled off. And it had the Alva uh, name on it. So, yes, it was tied on with this. So I'll have to look up what this brand goes for, this costume jewelry brand, and see. It's cool, right? There. And what does this little tag say? This little tag, I can barely read it. This is 10 and a P. I don't know. So that, again, I'm going to, because I don't know how this brand does, oops, um, I'm going to put in the, I'm going to put 20 bucks. Uh, I feel like I'm going too high. 15. Okay. Uh, is the necklace magnetic? Which one? Which one? 
Which one? Oh, this one? I didn't test it. Good, good point. I was guessing it was. Hmm. No. Nope, not magnetic. I don't think it's real gold, though, at all. Hmm, wouldn't that be something? But no, I don't think it is. Just from the way it, like, rubs together, it's, like, got this, yeah, no. Uh, don't you need to get the boys? The boys are in the other room. That's my timer for when, when they're really in school, and I have to go get them. <laughs> okay, and then we have another faux, I think faux. I'm not going to test this right now because they're so dirty. Pearl um, necklace. Definitely vintage, vintage clasp. Um, and one of the ways that, well, maybe I'm going to have to test them because when you look at pearls, one of the ways, you know, to see, you know, are they, are they knotted in between? This one is because real pearls, they'll knot in between. Second thing to look at, now nice costume jewelry pearls will do that as well. But the second thing to look at is the, the beads themselves and are they irregular? These are very irregular. Like none of them, I know they're like becoming smaller, but even like within the same range, they're very irregularly shaped. They're not, you know, like round, perfectly round. So hi, hi London. So I, yeah, I'm gonna really take a closer look at these ones because look at that pearl right there. Look at that one. Oh, I wanna clean them. I need to rub them on my teeth. Don't do it. <laughs> they're so dirty, I can't. <laughs> can't do it. I will fill you in. I will let you know. I don't want to leave you now and go wash them. Wait, wait. Let me see. I'm going to look in the hole. Mm. And then sometimes, too, like if you look where the hole is, you can see like where and you can see where it's being like coated. I just see dirt. <laughs> Honestly. I don't see any chipping or anything. It looks, it looks like dirt. Okay, so I'll have to take a closer look at these ones. I know, they're, they'll be gritty, they'll be gritty, <laughs> but they're so dirty, I can't, I can't put them in my mouth. Um, no, I know. <laughs> okay, so here we go, I'm going to put, because I don't know if they're real or not, uh, I'm going to put 15 down in, the, in my spreadsheet. Okay, here we go, 21. <laughs> it's like 9 something, so they're asking, what time is it in London right now? It's like 9.15. <laughs> She's giving military time. Okay, here we go. Next up is another set of, these are faux pearls. These are faux, but they've got a nice vintage clasp on them. Again, pretty sure they're faux. They have, they're knotted in between. I'm looking at that. Oh, this clasp has got a mark on it. Let me take a peek. 14K, hang on a second. My clasp says 14K and it's got a really funky mark that I have never seen before. Let me see if you can see it. I don't think you're going to be able to. Let's see if we can make this work. Oh, I'm, my finger's in front of it. That won't work. That won't work at all. I'll hold it the other way. Ooh, maybe it is nice. Maybe they are nice pearls. Who knows? Okay, let me see if I can hold that up for you. Hold it still. I can't get it to hold still. My fingers won't hold. Can you see that weird little mark? It looks like three eyes. Are you leaving? Oh, bye. Okay. Yeah, it looks like three little eyes next to that 14K. Can you see it? My hands won't hold still for you. You can kind of see it. Oh, okay, so I'll have to take a closer look at these ones and see. Let's, let's test with the magnet, though. Okay, it's not magnetic. Oh, how exciting. What if these end up being like, I have to figure out what that maker's mark is. For sure. Cool. So, yeah, once I figure out what the maker's mark is on there, that might tell me whether these pearls are, I don't know. That's kind of exciting. Okay, so I'm going to put those to the side. I have to look up that maker's mark. You know, that's awesome. Okay, I'm going to put 15 bucks for now. It might be more once I figure out who made them. Okay, and then next up, again, fake pearls. That's what I say every time. Maybe that's, <laughs> that's the lucky number. Say they're fake, and then they turn out to be real. So these are ones, okay, that has a tag on it. What does it say? I don't know. It's a mark, though. <laughs> I should do this beforehand, so I don't have to sit here and look at the marks. I don't know. I think it's LC. It might be Liz Claiborne. I can't really tell. 
So these ones, just little faux pearls. And I've been saving a bunch of like faux pearls and um, rhinestoning stuff in a, to make a lot. So I'll put five bucks on that fake pearl necklace. And then this will go in a lot. It's a stretchy USA bracelet. And then I've got a watch here that I don't know what brand that is, but it'll go in the watch lot also. It says Wit. Hang on. W I Wittenauer. I don't know what Wittenauer is. It's got a Pegasus on it. Is that good? I don't know. So for now, that's going in a lot. Wittenauer. The glass on it is really chipped up and messed up. I don't think that's anything super fancy. No. Base metal, it says on the back. So I'll put a buck because that'll go just in a watch lot. All right. <laughs> hey, still got 52 people. Awesome. All right, next up, this is a Brighton um, neck bracelet. That, it's in really good shape, so I will sell it. It's on this velvety pink bracelet. I mean, it's almost like new. It's just really good shape. And it says, dance like no one is watching. Sure. And it's got the little Brighton mark right there, the little B. So this one, and again, I don't know what these go for, so I'm just guesstimating 12 bucks. So it might be more, might be less, but I think I'm guessing low. <laughs> I think. And then this will go in a lot. It's just a stretchy bead bracelet, and I will sell the, I will sell the you know what out of this ugly thing. <laughs> Look at it. It's got this cat and these jack o' lanterns, and it's. I don't like it, but I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> it doesn't have any maker's marks on the back, and it looks like this cat was supposed to be holding something. He's got his paws out anyway, or else he's asking to be taken down off of this wreath. <laughs> One or the other. So I will put seven bucks on that. It might be, again, might be more, might be less. I'm just guesstimating. Maybe more. I mean, because ugly sells. Yes, it does. Ooh, this is a mess. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Hang on. Let me get it before the cat does. I got it. Yep. I heard you, Mimi. She said, hmm? <laughs> yes, you. All right, so here we've got this necklace. Boop, 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 boop. Boyd's maybe? Oh, it kind of does look like a, a Boyd's type style, like the Boyd's bears. This necklace is a mess. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that or what. Maybe it is. Maybe it's supposed to. I'll have to see about detangling it more. But I'll sell it. If it's not broken. Oh, look. It's super magnetic. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, e uh, <laughs> what do you think? I think that's the way it's supposed to look. I think it is. That's the way it's supposed to look, you guys. Uh, maybe I'll... Okay. I don't know. All right. I'm going to put seven bucks. <laughs> There's one on eBay for $12.99. With this one, this cat... What did I tell you? Ugly sales. <laughs> Somebody's trying to sell it too. Okay, for that funky necklace, I'm going to put eight bucks, even though I'll probably list it higher because I don't like it. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make any sense, Margaret. <laughs> okay, then we have a keychain. This is, I'll, I'll probably try to sell this because this is a vintage, like these little vintage penguins. They're little penguins. And I will, I will for sure try to sell this. I, I think I could put 10 bucks on that. Watch me. Somebody's gonna somebody's gonna see this and like oh my gosh I had one of these when I was a little girl and oh my gosh I need to have another one again right there it is you can have it from me for ten bucks <laughs> let's see ten bucks see you in the chat let's see what it says reseller mom Wendy Wittenauer is a high quality brand popular mostly from the forties and sixties you might want to look more into that one uh, just had just like Gruen. You had one of those the other day? I did, yes. Okay, so I will look into that Wittenauer watch. Awesome, thank you, thank you. Um, and Erin asked, what shipping method do you use for your jewelry? I'm guessing small bags or boxes. Yeah, so things that are, let, let me find an example. Things that like this, that wouldn't have a piece that falls off, I put in a little velvet pouch, and then they go into like a, a bubble, a little bubble mailer. Um, I think I've I think I've made a video, and then if it's something that like this where there's pieces that could come loose, I still put them in the little velvet 
pouch, but then they go in a small like six by four by four box because I don't want anything to like bump them or mess them up in an envelope, you know, that might make them go loose. Vintage washers can go for good money. I will have to double check that. Thank you guys. Because I just, the back of it said base metal, so I'm just like, oh, okay. But you know, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Okay, where is, the, I'm saving the, the best for last, you know, or I thought it was. Where's the mate? There it is. Okay. The one that I shared on Instagram. I'm making you wait for it. Because I'm mean. Okay, then there, okay, I saw you. Where's the mate for this one? Oh, I just saw it a second ago. So there's these really shimmery earrings that I just can't find the mate for now. It was sitting here. Oh, there it is. It was hiding. I will try to sell those. Those are cool. They kind of have that hematite look. You know, hematite style star earrings. They're kind of neat. They're not my style, though. Okay, so I'm going to put, I don't know. I'm going to put 14, 15. I'll put 15. I think I can get 15 for them. Doing pretty good. Let's see. There's a guy in my area that only buys vintage watches and sells them on eBay. Oh, nice. Very nice. I'm going to look that up. I'm going to look up the Wittenauer. There's only one of these, so this will go in a lot. There's another set of earrings here. I'm trying to find the mate for it. Oh, gosh. I don't want to waste time. I should have done this before. Sorry, you guys. Okay, let's skip to the ones I find right away. So here's some earrings. I will sell those. I'm thinking like in the seven to nine dollar range. Uh, let's put seven down here. Hmm. If you have a good source for those boxes and bags, okay, I'll let you know. <laughs> the e I get when I get my eBay coupons. You know, if you have an eBay store, they give you the coupons. Um. And I'll get their boxes, and then there's some that I order. I think the last time I ordered off eBay, I really wish the mate was here, but I don't see it. This is really cool, and I wish the mate was there, because I think I would keep those. Those are awesome. Darn it. Okay, I'm going to put you to the side and dream that you're going to materialize. But these are ones that I think I might keep as well. Was that turquoise? Yeah, I think so. The one that didn't have a mate a second ago? Oh, I've lost it again. Oh, dear. Okay. I did. I really did. I just lost it. So these are ones that I think that I will keep because I think they're really pretty. They've got this lacy look, you know, and they show through to make this lacy look in the front. So those I will probably keep. I'm looking now for that turquoise earring that I just showed you because I didn't have the mate for it. <laughs> okay, and then here are some. I'll sell those. I don't like them, but I'll sell them. They've got some marks on the back, but I don't know what they are from. So I'll have to ask in the groups. They're just kind of like these swirly marks. Maybe from something, maybe not. Okay, so I'll put seven bucks on those in the spreadsheet. You guys are great hanging out with me while I go through this. <laughs> and then here's another. Again, I don't see the mate for it. These little pink stones. They look like dyed, like they're supposed to, trying to look like pink turquoisey stuff. I know I'm looking for, oh, here it is, here it is. That's the one I didn't have the mate for. Yeah, I don't know if they're faux or not, the turquoise. I'd have to look at them closer. Like that. Sure looks like hide. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Y'all are talking to each other. Sorry. Okay. Good deal. So now I'm seeing if I have any other ones that have mates or no mates. Look, here's another one. These two didn't have a mate, but they're super cool. So those will end up in a lot as well. And then this one didn't have a mate either, I don't think. But it's March. Again, 925 on the back. Shoot. Look at this. Some of the, <laughs> I don't know why I'm showing you some of them. They don't have mates. This would have been cool too, but it doesn't have a mate. It's depressing. Okay, I won't show you any more without mates. But I have some little, okay, these don't have mates either. But I want to test them just for fun. Just for funsies. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to turn on my diamond tester again. <laughs> I should see if they're magnetic and save myself some time. Let's do that. Nope. Okay, not magnetic. Yay. <laughs> and any markings? No, no, I don't see them on that one. Any markings on this one? Nope. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. We'll see. While those are going, let me show you the earrings that I showed on Instagram. 
So these are ones that I found in there, and I was like, oh my goodness, those are so pretty. So I think they're blue topaz. They've got this stone, and then I don't know if you can see, but in this, this part up here, there's another teeny stone. I can see from the back where they're, you know, you can see through the metal. Orphan earrings sell in lots for crafters. Oh, that's good to know. <clears throat> that's a good idea. So there's these earrings. They're super pretty. They are marked. They're marked 925, and then there's another mark. I'll have to clean them up a little bit to see if I can see it a little bit better. I think it's uh, FAS. FAS, yeah. So, so these ones, what I was looking at when I shared this on Instagram, I said, you know, oh, I found these uh, sterling silver blue topaz earrings. And somebody said, oh, you might want to check to make sure they're not aquamarine because aquamarine can go for a lot. So let me screen share because I didn't know. I don't know the difference. So I'm look, I looked it up, and here's what I found on blue top okay so telling the difference between aquamarine and blue topaz um here's one way well using a loop and i should be able to see uh refraction lines two refraction lines but i need to, i would need something just i would need a point of reference for that <laughs> so a diamond tester um shows that if i simply touch the tip of the diamond tester to the gemstone and turn it on the result of the diamond tester registering thermal conduct conductivity stone makes means the stone's a topaz. If it doesn't register anything, then it's an aquamarine. So I was like, okay, that makes it a little easier for me. So if I basically if it's blue topaz, it'll register and it'll go beep beep, and if it's aquamarine, it won't do anything. That's what it says. So let's see. That was my hand. Let's see what it does. See, so it's registering. So that means blue topaz. Okay, I didn't know that. You learn something new every day. Oh, I just turned it off. I didn't want to do that. I was gonna, I was gonna test something else. <laughs> okay, so pretty cool. And then let me screen share again. Oh, Kate, are you leaving? Bye. <laughs> and then let me share with you what I looked up about aquamar. Okay, blue topaz earrings. They still go for really good money. So. You know, I'm thinking I'm going to put them in the $50 or $60 range because they're really um, pretty. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Randy wants me to keep them. But hey, Christian, how are you? Might be interested in that Brighton bracelet. Awesome. Send me a message. TexasGalTreasures at gmail.com. So these ones I may put, you know, $50 or $60 bucks on. I think, I'm, I think I'm leaning more towards $60 or more because they're so pretty. Okay, I'm going to add that to my spreadsheet, $60. Bucks. Okay, and then we were going to test those little studs just for fun. Am I presenting? Oh, good. Okay, so here's one of those little studs just for fun. We're going to test it out. It didn't have a mate. Nope. Okay, nothing there. Let's try the other one. And uh, nope, nothing there. Okay, that was fun, though. <laughs> Worth a try. <laughs> and then that's almost it. There's one more thing. And that was this that was in there. And this was a fossil watch. And it's got, I don't know if you can see the back. The backing on the watch is that, um, like, shell. It's kind of hard to capture there. But it's like that shell. And then it, right there, it's got that teeny little hole for the date. And then the, all the stones are that. I mean, it's like in almost perfect condition. There's no scratches on the face. I don't know how this made it through. It's really nice. So I looked up, I didn't look up the model number. I just looked up ladies fossil watches and i'm thinking i mean at least 20 bucks uh let's see if i have that screen open again let me see open open so yeah i did go through a little bit on this one to, to get some of the um info to share with you guys so here we go uh and again i didn't see the same exact one on here but the ones i'm seeing i think i saw one similar that one's kind of similar but i don't have the three dials in mine that one went for 31 bucks. There was another one that was kind of similar. And that's, I got too many blingies on it. Oh dear. No, no. Here, this one's kind of similar. $69, because it's got, you know, the little diamondy things around it. They're not diamonds, but you know. You might be interested. Oh really? Okay, awesome. I will make you a good deal. So send me a message <laughs> for sure. Isn't it cute? And it's like in, it's in almost spotless condition, eh, like so. It needs a new battery, though. It's not, it's not working. 
Do I need to get a, maybe I should get a new battery and make sure it's working before I make a deal with you. What do you think? Yeah. Look up ladies foster watch instead of ladies. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so is that it? Is that everybody? That might be everybody. Yeah, and for sure, um, if you, you know, send, send me a message if you see something that you were interested in because I, it makes it easier for both of us because <laughs> I can, I can get, give you a good deal. And that's that Brighton bracelet. Um, and my email is texasgaltreasures at gmail.com. So that's everything, you guys. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, um, let's see. I'm going to, did I put 20 bucks in my, for the watch? Okay, I'm going to put 20 bucks for now. We'll see. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Let's look at the spreadsheet and see what, what it came up with to see. So here's how I'm going to find that. Okay, so I'll select that, go all the way down. So I plugged in numbers as we went. And then let's find the sum of what I think my guesstimate of what I'll make is $470. So, and that was, you know, trying to be conservative and low, low ball numbers. So that's awesome. So if I can make $470 off of a $24.99 uh, jewelry jar, that would be really, really cool. So again, some of the things are going into lots, so I didn't add them into the spreadsheet. And some of them may be worth more than a dollar. That watch I put in as a dollar. We'll see. Yay. And then again, also, I'm going to look more. I'm going to find out what this mark is on these maybe pearls. And that might be higher as well. And I'm going to let you know. I'm going to get a good picture of that mark so you can see it better that's on there. Oh, my gosh. My kids are going bonkers back there. Okay. So, again, thank you. Didn't show you those. One more pair. <laughs> There's more down here. There's some more loosey-goosey ones. But we'll just, we'll just call it. All right. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming to hang out and going through this jewelry jar with me. I found some nice stuff that I'm going to keep, hopefully some nice stuff for my friends. And, yeah. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I will talk to you later. Have a good Christmas if I don't see you before then. Bye.